Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the reason for everything. In acoustics, there's reasons for everything. And a lot of people I talk to a lot of times say, well, he was lucky. He, he got a good sounding room. No, luck didn't really have a chance uh, in this situation. It's too complex. So you always hear room sounds bad or good. That, that's a subjective term. What's bad to someone is good to another. What's good to someone is bad to another person. So you have to stay focused. Is bad too much low frequency energy? Do we have bass boom? Is that what bad is? Are the reverb times too high? You have a negative impact on speech intelligibility, can't hear the words. What does bad really mean? So we have to define it, right? Good is a balanced frequency response, usually. That's a good thing. Sometimes difficult to achieve, so you have to be more realistic. Uh, reverberation times, do they match the usage? That's what we have to look at. Do we have a speech intelligence index of 80% or higher? if speech is our objective. So all kinds of variables that we have to consider. So there's no general rule. There's a reason for the above of everything. There's cause and effect. So getting a room, good quality sound in a room is no accident. It's a step-by-step -step process. And every step builds on the step that you just took. So it's critical that you take them all in the right order. Quality room sound is a designed for characteristic. You can get whatever you want. You just have to know what you want. If you don't know what you want, you have to know the people that can help you get it. And that's what we do, okay? There's no accident or luck involved. The elevator to success is out of order. There's no quick fix here. There's no fast track. Got to take the steps one step at a time. You got to develop a strategy. You got to know what your objectives are. You got to match the usage in the room to the acoustical treatment to the sonic objectives there's a strategy then you get a strategy and then you come up with a series of tactics to finish that strategy and accomplish that strategy people don't plan to fail they fail to plan that's what i see all the time they go on the internet and they see something that makes kind of sense to them that's the first problem and they build it then they called me and it said it didn't work. So you should have called me before you built it. Could have saved you all that. So you're using a tactic instead of having a strategy. If you had the appropriate strategy, you would see that that tactic that you built didn't work. And we could have saved all that time and effort. Because the last thing anybody wants to do, whether you're building it yourself or having someone else do it, paying them to do it, is to tear things out and start all over again. Everybody hates that. That is a universal truth. There's not many. There's no subjectivity about that one. People just don't like doing it. And I get it. People don't like tearing out and starting over. It's expensive and time consuming. So there is a reason for everything, but you got to develop a strategy because this room acoustic scenario has many, many variables. And you'll be shooting yourself in the foot or tripping over yourself, your own feet if you don't develop a strategy and choose the appropriate tactics to work towards that strategy. Reason for everything. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.